Hi, I'm Edgar, and you're watching C Events on ViewNow TV. We're at the BAFTAs, watching a fantastic screening by Freddie Nuaka. Seem to be a resurgence of black filmmakers and directors, such as Steve McQueen with 12 Years a Slave. You've got Edris Elba doing Mandela. Fantastic, fantastic performance. And now we've got this new film, Some Things, by Freddy Krueger. You need to watch this. Compared to my dad, he is. Look, he's not my dad anyway, yeah? He's just my mom's boyfriend. Did you have any idea what was going on? I mean, did you speak to anyone? Friends? Other family members, perhaps? No. You know, if you've been saying stuff, no one will believe you anyway. So, you had some kind of inclination that, well, something may not be right. I mean, she did try and tell you. What's wrong with you, man? Where's my speakers? I don't know what you're asking me for. Don't try. I know you got them wrong, man. And listen to me good, you ungrateful little shit. I don't want to hear another blasted word about this. Do you understand me? It's not just me. The other teachers have noticed as well. What if it is true? Kill him. Is it someone living there? What have you done? What have you done? Hi, Jim, how are you doing? I'm fine, very, very well, very well. Excellent. What part do you play? Um, I play a guy called um, Brian. Um, basically, he's in a relationship with a woman who has um, two, three children. Um, Brian has basically come from a background of being um, sexually abused as a child, and he himself, as a, con as a consequence, has become an abuser. So, basically, what my character is doing through the whole of the film is um, abusing Shanice, who happens to be my, my character's girlfriend's daughter. That must have been quite hard to cast for a role like that, wasn't it? Yeah. Do you know the funniest thing is that um, I know Fred, I've known Freddie for a while, and he actually didn't know I was in drama school. So um, when, I, when I told him I was in drama school, we had a little conversation. He was like, well, look, I've kind of like casted the role already. And I was like, oh, no problem. I wasn't you know, asking for a casting. Um, let me know when you've got any other future projects. And it wasn't like, it was like a couple of hours later, he gives me a call and says, oh, Chuma, I've got this sneak feeling. You know, I want you to read for this character. So I was like, mm, all right then, fine. And he said to me that, listen, I'll be honest, if you're rubbish, I'll let you know. Now, anyone that knows Freddie knows that he is director like that. And I read for it and he said, you know what? I want you to play the character. And, yeah. Excellent. So what was the most difficult part in the film? Because I've seen the film and, and there, were, there are some cringing parts as a man. Yeah. What was the most difficult part for you to play in the film? Honestly, all of it, because you're you have to be in character. Even when you're, you know, 10 minutes or even when you're not shooting, you come in in character. So for me, all of it was quite difficult. But obviously, as mad as it sounds, once you're in character, you're there to perform and do your, do your, do your piece. So all of it was difficult. I mean, doing the character background, drawing experiences, you know, from, you know, my daily job, you know, was, was difficult. Is there anything else that you're going to be um, taking, in, taking part in, in in the near future? Well, I've got a couple of projects, a couple of scripts that are on the table that I'm looking at. Um, so, so yeah, I'm still in drama school, so I'm focusing on that. But yeah, a couple of really interesting projects coming up, but I can't, I can't say. Excellent. Well, this was Tuma playing the main character in Some Things. Excellent. What do you think about the film? Um, my wife's in it, so. 
I knew it was going to be good. No, no, I just, I, I've been watching Freddie progressing over the years, getting into film. You know, one, one good thing about his character is that he's, he's what I like to call a complete a finisher. So he, if he starts something, he's going to finish it. Um, I respect him for that. Getting a film made in this day and age, in this industry right now, coming from nowhere, having no back it if, is the most hard, it's the, one of the most hard things in the world. So I really appreciate it. The subjects that he's, he's basing his films on, you know, like um, some things is, is su such, a, such a huge thing that we need to raise awareness about. Um, but he's managed to do it in a way that's palatable um, and dare I say entertaining, do you know what I mean? Um, so I rate him for that. I wish him all the best um, and he's really good. And I'm proud of my wife as well. Excellent. You played, um, I played Nicole. You played Nicole in the film. Um, the young lady that was getting abused, yeah. How hard was it for you to cast for this role? I think it was quite difficult because at first Freddie was not sure whether to cast me or not for the role because I look quite young. He wanted an older lady to be able to portray a mother of someone of maybe 15, 16 years old. And also he, he wasn't sure if I'd be able to draw on certain experiences to be able to um, portray the character in the way that he wanted. But I'm glad he gave me that opportunity because um, I've got friends that have been abused in the past and I guess I've taken from what they've told me and their feelings on what they went through and that's what I drew on to to portray the character. Yeah. So Mr. Dude, Mr. Ashley, are you going to somehow cast your wife into your next film perhaps? Put you on the we're working on stuff. You know what, we've, we've, we've got a few ideas that we're knocking about. Um, we kind of, we, we, we concept write together a lot, so, um, and brainstorm stuff and ideas. But obviously, you know, my, my main thing is, because I've had an established career, you know, I want her to do her groundwork, you know what I mean, for people to respect her for who she is first, and that, so it's nothing to do with me sort of thing, do you know what I mean? Because she's a brilliant actress in her own right, you know, and I'm really proud of her, and um, yeah, she's got big things coming for her. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Um, we're here with um, one of the main characters in the film, Shanice. Is it Shanice? Yes, Excellent. The first screening, you weren't here. You were in America at that time, yes. weren't you? Right. But she's managed to come for the second screening. Um, going to be asking her how she felt about doing the film and um, obviously being here with the rest of the, the, the cast and crew and the audience and everything like that, how she feels, because everybody obviously enjoyed her, her role in the film. So. When did you know that you had the part? Did you have to cast for it? Yes, I did. I originally met with Freddie in I think, early October. Um, and we discussed the film. At first, I was very nervous, especially when I found out that I got the role, just because I wanted to portray it correctly, because this is such an, a tough issue. Yeah. And um, I, didn't, I really wanted to portray it correctly so that everyone could feel it yeah. and that people would know how much of an issue that this is. And you played with an English accent as well, yeah. which was really, it was awesome, it was very, very good. I, I had no idea, obviously, you were, you know, you were American based or had an American accent, but you played it really well. Um, was there any times where you thought that, or you slipped with the accent slightly? Well, me being the judge myself, every time I watch myself do another accent, it's constantly in the back of my head, like, right. that is not you. Like, who, are, who is that? Right. But um, I can't pinpoint any flaws, but especially on set, if I did slip up, the cast was always there to help me through. And during filming, I actually just stay in my character, and I just, all the days of filming, I just do an English accent so that it will get me in character more. Excellent. You've got any other films coming up that you, you are, you're going to be involved in? Um, not here in the UK. Um, I just got back to Florida about a month ago after wrapping this up and everything. So now we're just working on music because I'm in actually a singer in a group called The Mixed Royalty with my sister. So right now I'm working on music and if a good opportunity does come up, best to leave, I'm, you'll see me in another thing. But um, I'd be thrilled to work with Freddie again. He's amazing. Excellent. Well, thank you. It's um, Edgar and Shanice for C events. Thank you. And the Roland. She plays D.I. Roland. Right, excellent. She's going to tell us about how she felt about playing the part in um, some things. So, your role as D.I. Roland, was it D.I. Roland? Um, did you feel like you were really doing something really important as in the sense that when you found out that 
there was a problem within the situation of... Um, it was an interesting way, the way Freddie put across, because when the opening scenes, you don't know whether Nicole is a suspect right. or that she's a witness or that she's a victim. Right. So we had to play it in a sort of slightly toned down yeah. uh, matter for to let the viewers decide right. what this woman was doing who was who was sitting there right. because when I was watching it it felt like she was the one on the hot seat that she was the accused or she felt there was an element of guilt so it, was that your intention it, that was Freddie's intention you, right. you you got it spot on so right. it obviously worked yeah uh, but we didn't go in hard like yeah. you might have done with a, a, a proper interview and investigation right. mm. And as you saw as it went on, I think a bit more empathy came out with um, trying to get out of her what she'd actually witnessed in it. Right, right. Excellent. Um, are you playing any other parts? Is there any other films that you're, that you're currently I, involved in? I literally just had my second anniversary of meeting Freddie. Uh, I had a small part in Blood, a, a short film he did two years ago. Right. And yes, I've done other short films and I also do some wrinkly modeling, some mature modeling. So. Well, you look beautiful for that. Thank you very much. We're here with Heaven Africa. Sherelle Rose, Miss Jamaica UK. Whoa, okay. Um, they've watched the film. They're going to tell us what they felt about the, um, the film and whether it sends the message. Um, well, I think it was very touching, very emotional, and it touched on a subject that's normally taboo, especially in a black community. Um, Freddie's amazing, he's doing a, an amazing job. And I feel that, you know, some children will watch this film that are going through this and it may help their situation. It's a great film, it's very touching and it's good um, that someone has, you know, finally put the subject out there and, you know, it does exist and um, it needs to be sorted. Hi, I'm Shanice Alexia Archer and you're watching ViewNowTV.com. Mr. Kruger himself, the writer, director and produce the film and he did a fantastic job he's going to tell us what he thought about the reception that he's getting and um, also was his next um, movie to come out so mr dude how's it happened how you doing brother i'm not too bad bro it's like a, it's a pleasure to be here man like look at the, the crowds the, the response has been amazing i got to thank you guys for coming down and supporting no you know what i mean because without you guys yeah. the word doesn't get out right. um some things what can I say? It's a film about child abuse, but more so in the black community, yeah. because you find that black community doesn't really talk about it that much, and um, it gets swept underneath the carpet. Yes. Um, you always hear about the Jimmy Savills, and it's kind of stigmatized as a white crime. Yeah. Yeah. So I decided to write a film that would de depict it, but within a black family, and that's exactly what I've done. Excellent. I mean, I, I watched the film, and I thought it was really, really touching. Um, what inspired you to really target something like that because it, it can go either way it could be uh, um, abusing your own child but I thought what was really interesting about the narrative was that that stepfather factor you know where you know the mother is neglecting the the father the the new man that she's brought in you know could be doing something that heinous you know what inspired you to write it in that angle to be honest with you I've been doing a lot of work with young people um, through my new campaign I'm a survivor and I came across a young lady who she basically had three kids and two of them were for her dad and she was only 17 and that's what kind of put me on that that kind of path to start writing this kind of stuff and then I started looking at more and more different cases of abuse and it just kept on springing up springing up so I thought I'd just tell a story from an angle where abuse doesn't only affect one person a lot of the time we look at it like, oh, he got abused or yeah. she got abused. Yeah. But no one doesn't talk about how it affects the other people in the family. And that's what this does. It tells it from the perspective of everyone who's a victim. Because they're all victims, not just the, the person who's abused. Now, we've known each other for so many yeah. years, yeah. all right? For so many years. And I know how you were hustling and putting your mark out there as a musician. Yeah. Right? This dude, <laughs> awesome rapper, I'm telling you straight. Thank you, thank how you were hustling and doing your work. and. I really hope that same vehicle that you used that helped you with your musical career is going to be the same thing with the film because I do film as well yes. and I know how hard, hard it is, yeah. you know, because there's this a ceiling, you know, that we can only go so high. But you know what? You're presenting this at the BAFTAs, you know, 
I'm in the right direction. So I, I want to thank BAFTAs for having me. I mean, that's a big look. I could have shown it in Ritzy or, or Vu, but BAFTA, thank you for having me. I mean, I really appreciate that. Definitely. So what's the, what's, the, what's the next film coming up? Well, I've just finished writing four features on my slate, and I'm now trying to secure the funding to get one of my big films out in the cinema. So that's my next thing, to get one of my films in the cinema. Dude, we've known each other so long, you never asked me to do anything for you. <laughs> that's, that's the next conversation. Off, off camera, we'll have a meeting. We'll have a meeting and sort that out. Definitely. Freddie, oh, thanks a lot, man. Thank you. Thank you for the support. Definitely. Thank you for the support. Excellent. Guys, peace. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. And what did you think about it? I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I'm exhilarated. For Freddie, I yeah. came out. I interviewed Freddie on the Sherry Dixon show. Uh -huh. And, I, you know, today was the first time I actually realized the same boys that are acting in the film, his sons, he brought them on my show, so it was about Father's Day. Right. So it just shows you he has a good attitude about, yeah. sh um, he loves to show off his yeah. children and that's yeah. a good thing. Yeah. And also he likes to inspire them, I love yeah. that. And yeah. I became friends with him then, mm -hmm. and then everything that he's done, I have supported, supported it. Yeah. And I was laying in my bed today and I was like, oh, I just want to stay here. And, and, and I, it kept on nagging me, no, you've got to get up. And I got up and I came. And that film, some things, it should be in every school, in every part of the community, because those days of uh, don't say nothing, keep it quiet. It's over. It's over. It's over. Right. And the only way that you can inspire people, especially young people, right. we can't change what's happened to women right. or, or men right. in the past, right. but what we can do now. is right here, yeah. right now, mm -hmm. change the mindset that you can forgive yourself, it wasn't your fault, right. and basically that we can move forward. Right. And we heard testimonies today right. to say we can move forward. Right. And, and you know what? I work with a lot of women, and there are a lot of abused yeah. women out there. Yeah. Um, it's not just domestic, it's sexual. Yeah. And it's sometimes by their fathers, and they have children by their right, fathers right, as well. Right, right. And this has got to stop. You heard that from Sherry on C Events with View Now TV. Don't play with this lady. Bye. Hi, Pauline. Hi, how you doing? Not too bad. How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Um, I'm excited. Um, I've come here today to support Freddie. You know, an amazing shot movie. Some things, some things just don't get talked about. Yeah. Like what the movie talks about. Right. You know, the child abuse. And so for Freddie to come out and bring it out in the open and also bring real life victims it's actually amazing. But also, Freddie surprised us in the end. He told us his own personal story. Right. And he was abused as well. Right. You know, so we need more people like Freddie to come out and talk about something that people don't talk about, right. but is affecting a lot of people. Yeah. You play a very important part in this whole event. What is your position? Well, um, Freddie invited me really as, as the organizer of BEFTA and obviously BEFTA is, is the biggest award ceremony f for personalities in entertainment, film, fashion, television and arts in, in Europe and um, Freddie actually won an award last year as best screenwriter with the, his other movie If Only which is a, a gangster movie so you know um, with my organization we support people like Freddie we create awareness we're a minority yes but when it comes to talent I think the black community is a majority, as, as you see portrayed by the film, by, by Freddy Krueger. Mm -hmm. And we just want to appeal to more and more people to come out and support his self-funding, you know? So if, if more of people from our community came out to support his project, that would be absolutely amazing. Because, like I said, child abuse, especially in the black community, is something that one must never talk about. Yeah, it's a taboo. Mm -hmm. That's right. Thank you very much, Paul. You came and watched the film. A very tense, um, deep narrative. What did you think about it? I think it was very inspirational to see someone like Freddie come through in the days of now and bringing out such a good quality film. Um, obviously, he's done it on his own back and he's brought in um, 
not like the everyday up there actors. He's brought in some people that are from the community and people that want to be inspiring actors. And hopefully, you know, I'm going to be working with him. You know, I've got a few links in, in America with the likes of um, Tyler Perry's co-producer, Roger Bob, Bobcat Films. And we're going to try and put something together because something like this needs to be told as people like Freddie need to be hoisted up there because they're doing great things for the film industry and the UK. And um, what, I mean, from watching the film, what was the most, um, I don't know, touching part in the film? Uh, I think it was when the mum actually found out what was going on, um, the way she portrayed herself. She tried to get it through the daughter and the daughter was holding back a little bit. And then when she finally found out she was being abused, then it all came on the table. Um, I don't know what to say except for, you know, it's a long time. You see these films come out from the UK where people are trying, but the way this one looks, it's going to be a hit. Excellent. Edgar with um, CK Flash, right? Yeah. CK Flash, the man from Choice. Um, we'll see you soon. Thank you, dude. Again, um, we're here with Rohan. Rohan played a very integral part in the film. He's going to tell us about it. How you doing? I'm all right. Excellent. Um, when you read the script yeah. and you realize you're the one who are going to, who's going to put the final pin or put the final puzzle together or to solve the whole issue, how did you feel? Um, I knew nothing about the script. I, it's like the first, first time I read it, I was intrigued. I was thinking, wow. Mm -hmm. I read through the whole script, I was thinking, wow. I'll, I'm, I'm not going to give away the plot, but right. I'm something big. I, I did something. Mm -hmm. I, was, uh, I was very intrigued about it. So, do you, when did you know that you had a part for the film? Um, I think I knew around September. Okay. And um, how hard was it for you to play the film? Have you, have you been in acting before? Yeah, I've been acting, but I've never done filming before. It's like probably my first time being on camera. So, so you know, you'd normally do stage work? Yeah, stage work, theatre. What's the difference between stage and film? Well, st uh, stage, I've, I don't, I, personally, I think stage is more difficult because you have to exaggerate on more stuff, um, project your voice, yeah. like, you have to always face the audience, can't yeah. keep your back against the audience, whereas camera, yeah. you, you have different angles. Yeah. So, yeah. Excellent. Have you got any other films that you're perhaps taking part in coming up soon? Um, not at the moment, not at the moment. But I have future projects with Freddie, hopefully in the future. I think you did really well. I watched the film, you did really well. And I knew you were the one who did it as well at the end. Well done, my man. Thank you. Excellent. It's Edgar for CNOW TV. Thank you, and we're out. The end now. Um, everybody had a fantastic time watching some things um, written and directed by Freddy Krueger. And um, guys, you need to go out there and watch this film. If it ever comes out, you need to put your support into it so Freddy can do more films such as um, as important to, the, to our community. Thank you so much. You're watching C Events at You Now TV. And I'm out. <laughs>